This demo is on how to install a Ports on Demand license on a Brocade ICX switch. To generate a license, you will need a transaction key. And usually the transaction key will be mailed with the switch, which will look very similar to the picture here on the left. You can also request this to be emailed to you. The contents of the envelope will be very similar to the picture on the right. In step one, it is asking for a license ID, and there's different ways you can get that. One is you can turn it into the switch and do a show version. Next to the serial number, you would see the LID, the license ID. There is also a sticker on the bottom of the switch, which would also have the license ID. After you have the license ID, you will need to go to mybrocade.com and log in. Once you log in, it should look very similar to this website. You will click on software license keys. You will hover your mouse over the license management. You will go to Brocade IP ADP and you then go on to license generation with transaction key. From here, you would fill out this information. You would input the switch's LID and you would input the transaction key. From there, you would add it. You would click on this button and you would generate it. Once you generate it, you would receive an email from our software portal. The email that you would receive will look very similar to this. Attached to the email will be an XML file. This XML file you need to put on your TFTP server. Once you install the XML file on your TFTP server, you can install the license on the switch by using the command copy TFTP license, the IP address of the TFTP server, the file name of the XML file that was sent to you, and the unit number. Once this is done, you can do show license and you will see that the license for the pod was installed. On the ICX 6450, by default, without any licenses, ports 1 and 3 on slot 2 are enabled for 10 gig E. Ports 2 and 4 come up in 10 gig speed, but are in error disabled state. In this state, ports 2 and 4 can be configured for 1 gig speed using the speed duplex command under the interface. Once the pod license is installed with the correct 10 gig optics and the correct speed duplex set under the interface, ports 2 and 4 can be used at 10 gig speed. There's a similar concept for the 6610. By default, without any pod license, there are eight additional SFP ports that can be used as one gig. Once a pod license is installed, the four lower port numbers can be used as 10 gig. These are ports 131 through 134. If you would like to add additional 10 gig capacity to the ICX 6610, you can add an additional pod license for a total of eight 10 gigs per ICX 6610. Thanks for watching.